Hey, what's going on guys? So if you remember at the beginning of this year when we first moved in, I was giving you guys a little bit of the a tour of my lawn and those types of things. There is the back slash side section of the lawn that was inside the fence that uh, had little to no grass. There was a lot of dirt and there was those big evergreen bushes. Um, and this was actually the same area that we ripped out those evergreen bushes and put raised garden beds in them uh, in those areas. But there was still a ton of just dirt and no grass growing around the raised garden beds. Well, we finally got around to finishing this whole area of the landscaping and I think it looks really good. It was awesome to see the vision my wife and I had for this area kind of come together. And I actually got some of this idea from Real Real Dad. He gave me the idea in the comments of that video where I gave the lawn tour about what to potentially do with this area. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's just going to be kind of a culmination of time lapses of uh, us working on this area from beginning to end. And uh, I'm going to kind of talk talk through what we did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's get into it. So the first thing I needed to do in this area of the landscaping was to reroute this downspout. This downspout was way too close to the foundation and was actually causing a bunch of erosion issues since there was no grass growing in this area. So I took it about 10 to 12 feet away from the house underneath the fence and had it daylight on the other side of the fence. So once I finished digging the trench I dry fit all the PVC pipe and PVC fittings together and then glued it all together. So now that I dry fit everything, before I take it apart, I am going to mark on the fittings where I want just a little line on each fitting so I know to line those marks up when I put it all back together and glue it. So after bearing this PVC pipe, I realized things just weren't fitting correctly because of how rigid PVC is in the first place and with this being a sloped area of the yard, so I ended up digging it all back up and replacing this buried section of PVC pipe with black corrugated pipe. I did end up leaving the PVC fittings that attach to the gutter and the pop-up emitter. Once I was done rerouting the downspout, I then started marking off where I wanted the border of this landscaping to be with my tape measure and spray paint. I then took the width of the stone that was going to be along the border of this and started cutting that width along the spray painted line with my half moon edger and a square ended shovel. And then I just started removing the sod. Once I was done removing the sod, I took one of the stones that was going to be edging here and just tamped down the dirt nice and tight. And I just started working in the stones from there. I know you're probably supposed to use some small gravel or sand as a base underneath these stones, but I've laid these stones multiple times and I've never had any sort of settling issue doing it this way, even after them being in place for several years. Due to the erosion that had been going on in this area, I needed to do some regrading, so I rented a mini cultivator to break up the soil to help me more easily move it around with a rake. The other added benefit of having this mini cultivator is it more easily helped me remove the grass and weeds in this area. Once the ground was prepared, we put down some landscape fabric and then started laying the rock. I 
wanted to mention that I was using my gorilla cart or pole cart to dump the rock in the landscaping and I found this to be the worst tool to use for this project. The just even at small loads the weight of the rock made pulling the cart extremely difficult and dumping the rock extremely difficult. I eventually started using my neighbor's wheelbarrow and it sped up the process a lot. I was actually able to more precisely dump the rock where I needed it that I couldn't with the gorilla cart or dump cart. With this experience it's just made me consider selling the pull cart and getting a regular wheelbarrow or potentially the evolution wheelbarrow by gorilla cart. And after rinsing the dust off all the rock, this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. We're extremely thrilled with how this project turned out. It looks a heck of a lot better than what it used to look like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for a great year. I hope you guys have a happy new year. Thanks for all the support. If you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, leave that in the comment section below. But as always, I'm Ben the Lawn Guardian, and we'll see you in the next video.